shines a light on a new weapon in the fight against concussions, but it's not a helmet. No, it's actually a new high-tech mouth guard, and it's designed to monitor the brains of young players in real time. At a rink in Seattle, the junior Thunderbirds are warming up to take a few hits and to test a mouth guard, outfitted with more bells and whistles than anything they've ever chewed on before. Just absolutely cram-packed with electronics. The thing that uh, is kind of sobering to realize about our mouth guards is that if you were to add a touch screen to them, they would essentially have all of the capability of a modern smartphone. The mouth guards are designed to monitor hits to the head. We've come up with the world's first impact detection system. Provides real-time information to what's going on. The heads of kids playing contact sports. It's a big day for Christoph and Rich. Today, we will be doing our very first on-ice test for juvenile hockey. They're the founders of X2 Impact. Their goal is to protect athletes' brains from damage caused by concussions. The problem is you can't see that damage. When the head is hit, the brain bounces off the inside of the skull. Just as bad, rotational forces can twist and bash the brain. The damage impairs brain function and can cause mood changes. Repeated blows can make the symptoms worse. They can also kill. This all started in 2007. My son Kyle was playing high school football. And uh, on a, just a standard running play, he was upended by the middle linebacker. Um, helmet first to the ground um, and was knocked unconscious for almost a minute. Kyle got better, but it was a scary wake-up call. Rich was motivated. Uh, that's when I approached my uh, business partner, Christoph Mack, and said, hey, we need to come up with a system that helps athletic trainers and, and medical professionals have real-time information to stop this kind of injury from happening. The idea? Outfit athletes' heads with tiny sensors. When there's an impact, G-forces acting on the brain are measured, transmitted to a base station, and sent to a handheld device that helps coaches decide whether a player should sit or play or go to the hospital. Other researchers had studied how concussions happen, but a wearable sensor was a new idea. Kristoff attacked the problem head on. So how to get at measuring and characterizing what's happening inside an athlete's head. And it was uh, a lot of uh, back to the drawing board kind of moments until I realized that the upper jaw is essentially the skull exposed for our sensor mounting convenience. Christoph had a brainwave. Why not put the sensors in a mouth guard? What we build into each one of our mouth guards is a sophisticated acceleration rotation measurement system that then is able to process, analyze, store, and transmit head impact data real time. Engineering a crash test dummy with a mouth proved to be one of their biggest challenges. When we first started doing this work, we realized that we couldn't use the traditional crash test dummy doesn't have a mouth, can't wear a mouth guard. So we had to break off into our own and we developed, this is the fourth generation of simulated human skull. This has a fairly sophisticated model of the human jaw joint, the TMJ, that allows for realistic motion of the jaw, realistic chewing, clacking of teeth, all of these kind of things. This head form is equipped with a very sophisticated set of reference sensors that characterize the rotational and the linear impact behavior that the head form experiences here in our lab smashers. In real life, we don't get the luxury of mounting reference sensors inside the athlete's skulls. And so we use the Smash Lab as a way to correlate the results of our mouthpiece and make sure it's saying exactly the same thing that is being recorded by the reference sensors inside the head form. Engineer Zach Williams gathers data. Software calculates the force of each blow. 45 Gs might seem severe, but it's a typical hit in a high school football game. After the system was refined in the lab, it was time to hit the big leagues. Prototypes were tested by elite athletes. 
Now the push is on to get the mouth guard into the mouths of young players because their brains are the most vulnerable. If you have impact upon impact without giving the developing brain the chance to properly heal, the youthful brain can lose its ability to auto-regulate its blood supply and can lead to very serious injuries indeed. This prototype mouth guard is tethered to the helmet. When there's a hit on the ice... Oh, that's good. I just got a... got an event. It shows up rinkside on the screen at Zach's base station. It's like we just got a little 9G hit to the side of the head. That's pretty good. Even little blows count. Research is showing they can add up. A coach, team physician, or athletic trainer cannot possibly keep track of all of the medium-sized sub-concussive impacts that each individual player is experiencing. Our computerized system can and does. I think if we can give parents the, the comfort and the knowledge that someone is watching uh, over their kids as they play, it'll be a good thing. Spring is in the air and I am in love. I'm going to tell you all about it. That's coming up after the...